So welcome to Saturday afternoon. Uh, Kevin is saving a um, game on his computer right now that he and Andrew filmed. That'll be on his Movie HQ channel if you're interested. And so um, he, uh, while he's saving his game, he can't really do anything else on his computer. So he said, "Hey, I want to, uh, I want to put together the dinosaur." So uh, Morgan and Chris sent this to him from Canada. And it is a nano block, and so it has all these little teeny Pretty tiny tiny pieces. And he built another one of these. It's been, I swear, it's probably been a month ago. But uh, he took it, he took it to uh, work. It was a zebra. <laughs> a zebra. He took it to work, and he has it on his bookcase at work. So now he's going to put together uh, a dinosaur. A dinosaur. So this is how it looks. And these are the instructions. And last time, it only took you like half an hour, didn't it? Yeah, once you kind of got it started, it wasn't too often. Yeah, you have to kind of sort the pieces and stuff like that. So we'll see how long this one takes him. I don't know if this, I don't remember how many pieces that one had. This one has 140 pieces. Yeah. And it's kind of confusing because that's the number on there. That's but the part the, yeah, that's the part number. The number of pieces is 140. So uh, yeah, I have no idea how many pieces the other one had, but we'll just have to, I'll try to keep track of the time so that I can let you know once he gets it sorted and he starts it, how long it takes him. Okay, this one took 45 minutes. I don't remember how long the zebra took. Yeah, well, uh, they but, do have extra parts, too. But so. yeah, there are so extra parts. Good. There were extra parts from the zebra as well. So, uh, so this is how it looks. That was fun. It's, it's, um, things aren't locked in as well on this one as the zebra. The zebra, everything was like locked in. This one is more movable parts. And things aren't like held in place. Like that leg is literally just pin into pin into pin. And it would... If you pushed on it a little bit, the thing would pop off. So, so you have to be very careful. Yeah, moving and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, very careful. But it's cool. Yeah, it is cool. What book does this remind you of? Danny and the Dinosaur. I don't know if I ever saw it. You don't know if you ever read that. Either. Really? Oh, it was one of my childhood favorites. Well, it is Sunday afternoon, and I know you just saw me do the uh, the dinosaur bones or skeleton from Morgan and Chris. Well, they also sent me this uh, Doctor Who, the Gold Dalek. Um, as well. So what I thought was I'm making a video right now um, on my computer so I can't play any games or anything so and Tammy's doing um, something so I figured I would just work uh, make this real quick. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do this Sunday afternoon for probably an hour or two. Kevin finished his Dalek and that is pretty awesome. I like the uh, color. It's different. Yeah we uh, that's your first gold one isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And that really one, uh, what would you consider it on a scale of hard to easy? Medium. Medium. It, it wasn't super hard. The The hardest thing was getting that dome on the top, which still is not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, I don't have anything round to like bend, bend things on. I need like a ball of some kind and, and getting these shapes kind of right. Those, those are the hardest things. But the pins went together really good. And all of this mostly was 90 degree turns. I mean, a twist, so it makes it easier. And he's just hollow inside. That says 1996. I swear that says 1996. That's, that's cool. Copyright or something. We have an open crawl space under our house, and there was duckboard running all up under there. And I'll show you what it looks like in this next clip. I'm, I'm trying to introduce you to what's coming up next. So we had duckboard running up all up under our house, and it's like, um, I guess it's like. Um, cardboard it, I guess it would be like a cardboard and that's what your air is running through that's what your uh, air conditioning is running through to come up to your vents or in the winter that's what your heat's running through uh, to bring the heat up to your vents and um, so we were wondering why we weren't getting the full benefit of the air in the house especially uh, the heat uh, in the winter time because it can get cold. So we had somebody uh, go up under the house and look and they saw that uh, we had this duck board and he said a lot of places are open. He said it's you've got holes in some places so big that I can stick my whole arm down through there. So that is why you're not getting the full benefit of your heat and air. 
and so uh, duck board uh, a lot of companies this company that we hired they don't even use duck board they don't even install duck board because uh, they use uh, sheet metal and sheet metal you will also see the sheet metal sheet metal will keep the critters out of it so when you have an open crawl space like we have, the best thing to get is sheet metal so that critters cannot get in. So we hired, uh, we always hire, um, uh, they're called Thornberry, uh, Thornberry Brothers, and we've been using them for years. They installed our furnace, they installed our air conditioning unit, and they're very, very trustworthy, very honest people. Uh, they, we just really trust their work. So the, what we did was we got them to come out, uh, come in and they tore out all the old, uh, uh duck board and they put in the metal, uh, the sheet metal and all that work. It was $3,550. It would have been more than that, but we got an $800 if they said if you're willing to wait and do it on our time, like if you don't need it done right now, uh, you we will give you an $800 discount. So it would have been over $4,000, but we told them, this was like back in June when we contacted them, um, and they gave us the quote. Uh, we contacted them back in August, and we said, okay, uh, we have the money. You can do it whenever you want. So, we had to wait from August to until now to get it done. However, I would rather save $800. So, that's how much it costs. Now, we have all new uh, sheet metal under the house, and um, I'm completely happy with that. Now, we have to get insulation. We need to worry about getting insulation under the house. But that's going to be another company entirely. That's another thing we have to call about that. So, now you're ready for the next clip. Okay, so this is the old stuff. This is called duck board. Oh, this is new stuff right here. Oh, this is new stuff? Yeah, we, okay. did, we didn't have to use this piece. Before. Okay, good. It, okay, so metal. this is the new stuff. This is metal. This is what they're putting under the house. And this is the old stuff. And what's wrong with this stuff? It's just, it molds and... It molds, okay. And it deteriorates and it blows insulation in your house, basically. Okay, so that's what was under the house. And then this is what you're putting, uh, this is the new stuff. So, okay. So it is the next day actually, and this is all the runs that they pulled out from under the house. And I want you to look at how horrible that looks. I mean, that looks like, they did not do that to that piece. That looks like some kind of a critter got into that and well, chewed. Somebody we had to climb over it. So. Right. There were, they, these were hanging down, a lot of them, or they were on the ground. And if you had to get to anything under the house, you would have to climb over them. And it was really, really difficult. So what we're having them do is we're having them tack everything up under the uh, house so that in between the, um, the floor joists so that you can crawl under there and you won't have to worry about tearing anything up yeah these are the old pieces the black pieces yeah the black ones are the old ones i could show you that better back there yeah those black ones back there are old and the silver ones were just new we were over at my dad's. Uh, he bought a new bed, actually, and so Kevin was putting it together. And when we were leaving, he gave me these uh, posters. This one is uh, Sweeney Todd, the barber. And then we have Jack the Ripper. These are my two favorite ones. And then you have Professor Moriarty. And then you have... Edward Hyde. So uh, he he said he, he was thinking that he when he bought them that he was going to do something with them and he couldn't do what he wanted to do with them. So he gave them to me and um, I just love them. I think they're awesome. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, uh, but it's Halloween time, so I'm going to put them up somewhere. They would look good in the kitchen, but 
they're not uh, they don't have they're not laminated so I wouldn't want them to get uh, wet so this is where I decided to put them I think they look good Kevin hasn't seen them yet but he's getting ready to come in here and uh, of course I when Ashley gets home from work she'll have a fat <laughs> what do you think Oh, huh, nice. You like them? Um, yeah, the cats might try to knock them down. I don't think so. I think they'll be okay because at Christmas we put that Nutcracker um, uh, banner up there and it stays up there. I like that though. I think that looks cool. We received two packages in the mail. One is from Cardinal Rule Press. And I have, it feels like it's a book, but I don't have a clue it would be. And this one says it's from uh, Penny Lane Gifts. I don't know. Oh. Thank you. Let me see. Corner Rule Press. Yes! Okay, I remember. Cardinal Rule Press. Thank you for considering our books for a re... I think it says for a review. review. Yeah. Um, I remembered, yes, someone contacting me, asking me uh, about re... Thank yes, you. yes, yes. Spaghetti and a hot dog bun. Spaghetti and a hot dog bun. Okay, I can't wait to read it. Having the courage to be who you are is what this book is about. And then, oh, I've got a catalog. And then that book, what is that book called? Chocolate Milk 444. Yeah, I was seeing if it had any other Spanish words in it because that would be interesting. <laughs> it didn't though. <laughs> yeah, how fun would that be? Uh, they have one called The Little Linebacker. Fruit Salad Friends, The Jelly Donut Difference. That oh, sounds like the title of a Big Bang episode. The Jelly Donut Difference, Sharing Kindness with the World. I'm just thrilled. I um, was reading today uh, children's books, so I cannot wait to read these. Um, it will be a little while, just know that. Uh, it will be... Uh, it'll be a couple weeks. Uh, I'll make sure that I read these and in a couple weeks, uh, uh, hopefully I'll, you'll enjoy me reading it because I read, I've said this before, I read these books because I love to share them and sometimes I skip over words here and there. I don't mean to. <laughs> um, or I might add a word here or there. I, I don't mean to. Um, but I absolutely love to share children's books. So these sound uh, like cute. very cute books. So thank you very much. I appreciate those. And this is from? Molly in California. A gift for you. Enjoy, take care, Molly in California. Molly is the one who sent me um, about a billion dollars worth of uh, MC Beaton books. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. And I have enjoyed them immensely. You don't even know. Um, what is in this? Oh my gosh. This is a mug. Little Miss Sunshine. Oh my goodness. I'm dying. I am dying. A little bit of sunshine, and then on the back it says, Hello, sunshine. I love that. Mr. Strong. You know, I would say she sent me the Mr. Strong because I bought a Mr. Strong in London. What tube station? Westminster. Westminster. I was going to see if you remembered. I bought this at Westminster tube station for Andrew. And I, I gave it to Andrew, and Andrew has it, uh, he uh, actually sets it behind him at his desk. But it says, Mr. Strong, and this is strong, uh, strong by name, strong by nature. That's awesome. I'm glad you got me that, because I gave that one to Andrew. Nice one. Little Miss Giggles. Let's see. And this one says, 
Little Miss Giggles, life is better when you giggle. That's the truth. Um, these, in case you all don't know, uh, this is a very, very popular um, children's book series. It originated by Roger Hargreaves and now uh, Adam Hargreaves, his son, took it over and so now Adam writes the books. And a lot of people get very frustrated with me uh, because I'll say, okay, today I'm going to read you uh, Little Miss Sunshine. And it was written by, and I might say uh, Roger Hargraves, he did write it, but you know what I mean. When really it was written by Adam Hargraves. The reason I say that is because I say what is on the cover of the book. And Roger Hargraves is on the cover of the book. You don't know that it's Adam with a lot of these books until you open it up. So that's why I say one and not the other, but I'm trying to get better and say the son, when I see that it's written by the son, I try to say the son's name, even though the father's name is the one on the front. Hi Tammy, enjoy. Thank you for all the hard work you put into your videos and sharing them. Take care, Molly in California. Molly, thank you. You know me so well. Uh, these are awesome. And, and it's the, funny, the, the company that sent them was from, in Lexington. It said Lexington? That's where that, remember the gift place that said Lexington? It did say Lexington. Yeah. That's weird. Wonder if we could go to that place. <laughs> could we could, go there. I've never heard of it. These, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to display these uh, because I love them so much. And if I put them up in the cabinet, then you're only going to see them every now and again. But... Um, I displayed my um, my Starbucks You Are Here mugs, like uh, the London and the Oxford, and um, I have other ones, uh, Edinburgh. Anyway, I display them, and then when Kevin and I are going to review something, I always use them for the video anyway. So I'm sure I will, you will be, be seeing these in videos, but I am going to display them. They're not going to just be put in the cabinet. So, I absolutely love them. Thank you very, very much. And uh, thank you again for the books. So, when we opened these books from Maria, which hopefully I said, Maria sent me these books. It's Maria Dismondi, and she is the author of these books, and she's written others. But I had them laying on the uh, kitchen counter, and Ashley came in, and Ashley got really, really excited, and I wanted her to tell you why. We are using these books right now, um, not this one, just we've been using this book right now to um, s learn to recognize books that celebrate multiple cultures and how to teach children how to deal with people from multiple cultures. Um, and my friend actually just had to make an entire lesson plan on this one book. So it's a really good tool to use. For, yeah, it's for diversity. And then this one, I, I, I'm sure I said, having courage to be who you are. And then this is the catalog. And this shows, um, this shows her other books. Uh, the Potato Chip Champ, Discovering Why Kindness Counts. And then there's the Chocolate Milk. And then Spoonful of Sweetness and Other Delicious Manners. And Pink pink tiara cookies for three and then i think yeah here's another one uh the little linebacker a story of determination the fruit salad friend recipe for a true friend and the jelly donut different sharing kindness with the world but i think those are really cool and then i looked i just i just finished reading this one to myself not out loud yet but i'm going to uh this is maria and she's so beautiful uh, she is the author, and then this is Kim Shaw, and she is the illustrator. So, I'm glad they have their pictures in the back of the book, too, because, I don't know, I, I like seeing people's faces, and um, you can, it's very relatable. And then I noticed when I just finished this book as well, and I noticed that it is, um, it's about this little boy, um, his name is Gabe. Was his name Gabe? Why was I thinking his name was Gabe? Gabe, yeah, his name is Gabe. And then they have a picture of the real Gabe. This is the real Gabe. Well, one of you very, very kind people, I, I was complaining, I'm gonna start out this way. I was complaining a couple weeks ago about um, enlightened. I wasn't really complaining, I was just telling you the facts. 
that someone told me that I should send an email to Enlighten that they had seen that Enlighten had sent a bunch of ice cream to people in on uh, social media and that I should send them an email to see if they would send me some ice cream to review. So I sent them an email and they sent me some coupons for some of their products, but they didn't send me any ice cream. So then one of you all heard me and you said that you emailed them again for me and that um, uh, so you wanted to see what would happen. It says this pack, stop, warning. This package contains dry ice. Wear gloves when handling. Oh boy, gloves. Do I have gloves? Hmm, gardening gloves, but like they're out back and it's cold. Um, so anyway, I, uh, someone from Enlightened contacted me on Instagram and asked me, told me who to send an email to in order to get some ice cream and they said we will send you some uh, broad beans and uh, some more uh, marshmallow treats and um, and they said they'll send me the new formula marshmallow treats and so I didn't know they had an old formula and a new formula and I don't know how you're supposed to tell on the package the new formula from the old formula but um, so I've received, she said, it'll be in two separate boxes. I'm going to send you some. And she said, so you probably won't get them on the same day. Well, I have gotten them on the same day, different times, but the same day. The post office delivered my, the broad beans and the marshmallow trays. And I'll show you them in just a minute. I opened it up to make sure there wasn't anything that needed to be in the freezer. This ice cream just came by FedEx. So... Um, now I have to find some gloves. I wonder if Kevin has any gloves. Ooh, what about winter gloves? I have winter gloves. I'll go get some winter gloves. I have Kevin's winter, <laughs> Kevin's glove. I think these are Kevin's. They must be. I'm sure I've used them before to shovel something. Shovel snow. Okay. Ooh. Awesome. You all have to see this. Look at that. Awesome, isn't it? Okay. So, we have we have black cherry and they're hard. I mean, they are rock solid. That stuff works. Black cherry Brownies and cookie dough. That sounds good. Kevin's just going to be thrilled. Birthday cake. Peanut butter chocolate chip. See, I didn't even know they had, I didn't even know what flavors they had because we don't get them around here. So it's like, I, I, I don't have a clue. Uh, sea salt caramel. These are some fun flavors. Butter pecan. Wow. Um, snickerdoodle. And the last one is mint chocolate chip. And you know, that is cold through these gloves. So that just shows you, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that is not to be uh, fooled with. So uh, the, it looks like they're all different calories and it looks like some of them are per pint. Some of them are, or one of them look like it was per serving, maybe not. No, 360 per pint, 280 per pint, 
400 per pint, 400 per pint, 320, 400, 240, and 320. Hello, Miss Ashley. I'm, I'm filming, so. Oh, from that way. Oh, awkward, they can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize. I like, like, normally I'm filming from the other way, not this way. Yeah, but so, I don't know that Halo Top has any that goes up to 400. I know they have some that's very, very close, but I don't know that they have any 400. I know they have some like 380s or something, but actually these flavors sound good. Peanut butter, chocolate chip, birthday cake, snickerdoodle. Peanut butter pecan. Anyway, thank you very, very much to uh, whoever it was that uh, sent in. Oh, let me show you this real quick. They sent me, um, okay, so they sent me those in one package. And I'm gonna take a picture of them and get them in the freezer. Then they also sent me these, and like I said, they said it was a new formula. I don't know how you're supposed to tell the difference between the new formula marshmallows and the old formula, but they sent me the double chocolate, the apple cinnamon, the birthday cake. These are the same ones that Amir sent us. Uh, but, so I don't know how those are supposed to be different. And this is what I think is really cool. This is a, uh, sampler package of their broad beans, uh, their enlightened broad beans. And I love this. I wish that an enlightened sold these at the store because you can get a bunch of small packets instead of buying, having to spend all that money on one, you know, one big packet. This has sea salt, sweet cinnamon, garlic and onion, mesquite barbecue, sriracha, and wasabi. And those are all in this one box. Um, I think they should definitely sell these at the store. I think they would sell out like crazy. So to the people of Enlightened, thank you so much. Uh, and to whoever, whoever sent them emails uh, for me, I appreciate it so much because uh, this is quite a treat. I did some digging around on the internet and I believe these are the exact same uh, marshmallow treats that we've already tried from Enlightened. So we are not gonna be reviewing them again on camera because I do not see any difference at all between these and the ones that we reviewed. But I'm still very, very, very grateful for Enlightened for sending them to us. I really appreciate that. Um, and I wanted to tell you all, they also have other kinds of ice cream. I thought, wow, they sent us all their ice cream because I told you, we don't get it around here, so I have no idea what the flavors are. And I don't watch, when somebody reviews them, I don't watch any of their reviews because we don't get it around here. So, I don't know. It's one of those things where, because I, I just have no hope of getting it, I haven't watched the reviews. So, I thought they sent us everything. But... They did. They have chocolate vanilla, frozen hot cocoa, uh, chocolate peanut butter, and I might repeat some of the ones they sent me because I can't remember all eight. Caramel oatmeal cookie crunch, uh, triple chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough, toasted almond pina colada, fudge brownie, red velvet, strawberry cheesecake, cold brew coffee, all of those sound awesome. And then they have all kinds of frozen uh, treats. Um, they're called, what are they calling them? Ice cream bars? Just ice cream bars. They have sea salt, caramel, red velvet, birthday cake. It looks like the exact same thing, the ice cream. They've just put it in bar form and it's fewer calories. Some of them, it looks like they range from 70 to 100 calories. The highest one is the peanut butter chocolate chip and it's 100 calories, but I'm sure because it's peanut butter chocolate chip. Um, and then they just, this is talking about the broad beans. Okay, and then they, I have, there was a coupon in there, but on a completely different topic, um, I have been watching, um, uh, like I've told you in the past, I watch Melissa Mendoza's channel. And she here lately, apparently way back, I haven't watched her like from the beginning of her channel, but I've watched her for a while now. And she's never been a couponer since I've been watching her. But all of a sudden, she has started couponing and she said that she's gotten back into it. So I guess 
maybe there was a time where she couponed all the time and, and just she dropped it for some reason. She didn't have time maybe. And now she's gotten back into it. But what she will do is you get those inserts in the Sunday paper and apparently people collect those or I don't know how they get them, okay? It seems fishy to me. She buys like a stack of these inserts of these coupons from somebody. They have groups on Facebook and you can like meet somebody in your car and pay $3 or something and they'll give you a bundle of coupons. And But I'm wondering, okay, where are they getting the coupons? I just find it the whole thing fishy. It's like, are they stealing those on the paper? I don't know how they're getting them. I guess she don't ask questions. But she also has mentioned that she gets coupons from Red Plum and then there's another one. So I want to show you, we just got our Red Plum. I want to show you what we get in our Red Plum. And somebody was just asking me, have you ever thought about couponing? This is why, this is a good reason why I, I don't coupon because we don't get anything. So this is our Red Plum and this isn't a coupon. Okay, so you open it up, and okay, here's the, there's the, there's the, what's holding, this had our address on it, so I tore it off, but this does me no good, this is for the Dish Network that does me no good, then a Globe, uh, Globe Life, which does me no good, then we have, uh, AT&T, then we have a dish. There's Champion Windows. There is a Rite Aid. There is a Fazoli's, which we don't eat out really, uh, rarely. There's the Kroger ad, which norm, uh, nine times out of 10, this is the only thing I keep to look at is the Kroger ad. This is their healthy section. And then this is for Ollie's. Now, I will probably look at Ollie's. Let's see, what do they have? I'll just look at Ollie's right now. Anyway, long story short, no coupons. Hello, no coupons. Not even a coupon for Angel Soft toilet paper. Nothing, no coupons. That's why I'm not into the couponing. And Kevin does not want me to install one of those coupon things on the computer because he said that uh, it can give you vir they can give you viruses. So, he said no. So that's why I don't coupon, is because we don't get coupons. I don't know, uh, I thought maybe maybe somebody was taking our coupons and they're selling them, then Melissa's buying them. <laughs> no, I'm in Kentucky, Melissa's in Texas, so that's a total joke. But, you see what I'm saying, I mean, we're not getting the coupons. So, and then Kevin, we talked about it one night, and he said, well, maybe we don't get coupons because they didn't do well around here. I can't imagine coupons not doing well. Um, what are these? These are just games. Uh, but anyway, it, it's annoying. Look, they have card games. And you know, the, see, if you have an Ollie's near you, this these are things like that I would get for stocking stuffers. If your child's old enough to play card games, um, it's an Uno Ghostbusters card game. I would get that for $1.99. We already have one, so I won't be getting one. But if your child doesn't have Uno, if they've never learned to play, it's really fun. It's very easy. It goes mainly off, it goes off colors and numbers. $1.99 for a stocking stuffer. So that's the kind of things that I would look for right there. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, that's annoying that we don't get coupons, but, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. What else do we have? Pet gallery. And then we have some scented markers. I bet you could go in Ollie's and get all of your stocking stuffers bought for 10 or $15. Now, I've never given myself that uh, challenge because uh, I'm, I've already bought most of our stocking stuffers. Okay, this is the Kroger healthy section, which um, I'll look through it, but I don't see anything. 
transfer a prescription. See, I won't do that. Okay. And then you have the main Kroger ad. What do they have on sale this week? You know, Kevin and I mainly just look for, for Cokes. Uh, and those are cans, so we won't get those. We used to drink cans, but now that we have the bottles, we like the bottles. They have the lids. Um, I like to show this to Adam because he's in Alaska, <laughs> and it aggravates him to no end that our milk is so cheap, and apparently in Alaska, it's very expensive, and I'm sorry, Adam. So sorry. Uh, it's getting that time of year. Soup. 99 cents each progresso soup i love the progresso light um the uh chicken noodle and the vegetable uh, the the light version you can eat like a whole can for about 140 calories something like that and it's it's so warm and delicious and the chicken noodle i drink all the well i don't drink it but i get it in my spoon i eat all the juice uh, in both of them because it's so 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 good ashley loves these zone perfect bars but i don't know um i don't know how much we pay for them we buy them at walmart normally i didn't even realize that they had them so make it italian night I want, I've often wondered about these meatballs. If these meatballs are good, uh, what all they have in them. Do you just put uh, mix them with like Barella uh, sauce or Prego or something like that? Uh, or, you know, I would like to know how spicy they are, if they have a good flavor. And the Italian cream cake. Mm, I love Italian cream cake. Uh, Nature uh, Valley 2 for 5. That's a good deal. It's a shame they don't have drinks on sale, but we were just at Walmart, and bottles at Walmart are two fifty. dollars So, uh, I know it will probably be too late by the time this vlog comes out. I don't know when the, uh, the sales run in Walmart, from what day to what day, but just know when you see this vlog on Monday that it the time I'm filming this, uh, which is Thursday, they were two fifty at Walmart for a bottle. They're pumpkins, four for five. And that's it. So no coupons. No coupons for, for the Duns. Heather sent me a message last night, and she said, have you ever tried your Twizzlers frozen? I said, no, I haven't. She said, try them frozen. She said, they're wonderful. I think you'll really like them. Try them frozen. So, and if you don't like them, I guess I can leave them laying out and they'll fall fine. So, I said, I'm going to, before I go to bed, I'm going to take a package right now. And I'm going to put it in the freezer. So, for Heather, I'm going to try these frozen. So many of you like to tr uh, eat your candy bars frozen and other things. That's something that we just don't think of. And I'm wondering if that stemmed from being in a hot climate. If it like, like if they do that in the United Kingdom, do they do that because most people don't have air conditioning and you have to put it in the refrigerator or the freezer to keep it cold and not melt? Is that the reason? Or if you're in the United States, is it the same thing that uh, you're in like Louisiana or somewhere where it's terribly hot and I tell you what, I can't get them apart. And you need to put them in the freezer. Now, normally, normally these come right apart. Normally, they're very, they're very, wow. That literally just broke, okay? That's not how they normally are. Okay. I don't know why you'd want that frozen. I'll be right back. I have a package opened. This is how they normally are. When you open them up, you open up your package, like that that easy and then when you eat them and 
And I've said it before, I know you are tired of hearing it, I'm sure. These are not like regular Twizzlers. These are not hard Twizzlers. They have a lot of flavor. That caramel in the middle adds a softness that you don't get with regular Twizzlers. This is the frozen one. Heather, you'll have to comment and tell me why you would want that frozen. It's not, it's not that it's bad. Well, let me say this. I feel like I can taste the flavor better without it being frozen. Just the regular out of the package. I feel like it has a ton more flavor. This frozen one, it seems to have lost its flavor and it's very hard to chew. This would be more like the original Twizzlers. And see, I don't like the original Twizzlers. So, I'm going to leave this package out <laughs> and let it sit and thaw. But you know what? I'm glad I tried it that way. I mean, no hard feelings for me. I, um, it's not like it hurt them. And um, I can absolutely let them thaw. And I love trying new things. So for me, that was fun. A lot of you have said certain candy bars are better frozen. And uh, we tried the Pop-Tarts frozen because some people like those frozen. I didn't care for those frozen either. Maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just a regional thing where you would rely more heavily on the freezer. But I'm going to eat mine like this. That's a lot easier on my teeth. <laughs> Kevin and I have some boxes to open for you. We actually have three, and I know who two of them are from, but one of them is a mystery. So <laughs> maybe once I open it, hopefully I'll see them. Uh, this is from Mark and Laura in Florida. Now they did live in Texas, but they moved to uh, Florida. And what did she send? Yay! <laughs> She's my dealer. <laughs> Supplier. My, oh, sorry, my supplier. Yes, the dealer, same thing. Yeah, she's she's dealing them to me. Thank you so very, very, very much. This is awesome. Um, I absolutely love these. They are the Publix almond bars. They're sweet and salty almond bars. They have a different texture. Uh, I've said this before. They have a different texture than than other almond bars that I've tried. Uh, so thank you so much for thinking of me. I know that Publix is um, supposed to be a little bit more expensive on things, so I hope you're not spending a lot of money. I don't know how much it costs to mail these, but I appreciate it so very, very much. This is awesome. Four boxes. And each box has six bars. So, very excited. Now this one is the mystery box. I have no idea who this is from. Does it have a note inside? It's from somewhere not around here. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> from out of the country. I can tell you that it's from out of the country, but I don't know. I don't. I just don't have a clue. And Kevin never wants me to peek. I'm dying to peek though. You can peek, isn't it? Oh, oh. What? Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's cool. I like their little drawing. Tammy and Kevin. Make sure there's nothing in the bottom. Oh, look! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Is that not the most hilarious thing? <laughs> that is so I like the funny. picture they drew on the front. Oh, Yvonne. Okay. I mean, that is hand drawn, right? Huh? Yes. Yeah, that's hand drawn. Hi, Tammy and Kevin. I'm from the UK and love watching your videos on YouTube. I thought of you when I saw these Churchill biscuits. Will you open them, Kevin? Blurry. Are we blurry? Are we blurry? No. Which are said in, uh, oh, sorry, which are sold in posh stores around the UK. This is a new design for Christmas and not yet available in the shop. Hope you like the so tin and shortbread inside. Where did you steal it? If it's and this available. best wishes, Yvonne from Buckinghamshire. 
Thank you so much. Yeah, how did you get? Oh, cool. She must work. That is awesome. Yeah, it sits upright. I absolutely love that. Mm -hmm, that's cool. Do Churchill's Sights of London, painted by Adrian Chesterman. These are petticoat tails shortbread. Well, yeah. Well, does it have? Oh wait, I see. It's just it's taped. Do you do you want to open it like that? Because if you open it like that, then you're gonna leave uh, tape, on. tape on either side. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Oh, I don't wanna. Yeah, yeah I don't wanna get all that. I like your drawing. Uh, that's cool. Okay, this will be easy. Then the bottom needs the paper. Let me see if I can do it like that. There we go. Oh yeah. Just... Okay, so that's here's cool. what you get. Wow, there are three trays. And I think they're all three the same thing. Yeah. They're all labeled the same way, so I'll only open uh, one. I don't think that comes apart. It looks like a little bit. No, it's attached. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. These are like big. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Yeah, it doesn't come up. Look at that. It's all attached. No, it does come open too. It's just got tape. So you could open either side. It feels like it. Yeah. Okay, this. I don't want to tear it up though. That's there, a big cookie. I know. And you can you can divide it out. Are you gonna do it now? Like this. Into Are we trying it now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't I wasn't gonna do a video of them. Do you oh. think I should do a video of them? It looks like a good uh, butter shortbread. Hello. That's delicious. Imagine that and dipped in some tea. Mm, that's really good. That is so buttery. You can taste the butter. Mm-hmm. Mm, those are excellent. I put the other ones up so you won't eat them. That's delicious. <laughs> but you can leave these on here. I'll leave them out. Oh, that's him too. Mm. Those are absolutely delicious. Thank you so very, very much. You know, I would have done a video on them, but I don't know. I don't know if me reviewing one thing is. I mean, they're absolutely delicious, though. If you if you see these, I wonder what posh stores. Um, uh, the only posh stores I know, I know of Liberty. When you say posh, that's what I think. Of. I think of oh, yeah, we Liberty, there. and I think of Harrods. And I think of Selfridges. So you can tell me if I'm way off base. Um, also, I think M&S, as far as like a grocery store, that would be M&S would be nicer. It's and Waitrose. Like no, but I I think it's going to be Selfridges, Harrods, or Liberty. Let me know below. Or uh, there's others. But... Thank you very very much. I love those, and I love the town. Uh, who's this from? Mm. You said you knew. This is from Bobby in uh, California, and she uh, contacted me. She just went to England. She just took a trip to England, and she said that uh, she walked through the square on the way to our hotel, and she thought about us, and she said that she actually went to Paddington Station, and we didn't go to Paddington mm. Station because I forgot. Yeah. So what it's on my about? list for next time. But um, she said that she was, uh, she said she was sending me a sweatshirt. I don't know. We haven't got there. Oh. Okay. She, they use this for packing material. I'm going to save it because it's uh, like a non slip nice. rug stuff. Yeah, I'll use it in my nice. work room. That's smart. <laughs> but she said she went to Paddington Station and she said they sold mugs. So I see a mug in you'll Kevin's be, hand. You'll be happy. Yay! <laughs> Isn't it funny that, I think we that, that one. she sent me different ones than the ones you just saw in the video? This is different. This is Little Miss Chatterbox. Oh my goodness. That's an appropriate mug. <laughs> Maybe she was thinking of me. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Okay, right. what's the other one then? Mr. Mr. Cool. cool. That's me. I think, sure. she, I think she was. I think Bobby was. Thinking of Andrew. 
No, I think she was thinking of you. Little Miss Chatterbox. She didn't know it, but she even talked in her sleep. That's what it says. That is adorable. This one just says, there's me. That's me, Mr. Cool, said Mr. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> those are so cool. Those are right. I love those very much. Thank oh, you. You're going to like this. You ready? I love it that you got us ones that, I mean, that, that I wasn't expecting Molly uh, to send us um, mugs that she got, and then you sent us some. I think that's awesome. All right, here's these. Oh, Paddington at the Palace. I cannot wait to read this. I can't believe I didn't see this. I wonder if this is new. No, first published in hardback in 1986, so it's not new. Wow, I, I can't believe I didn't see that. Thank you. And Paddington, the Paw Print Trail. I wonder if that's the places where the movie was. I don't like know. Like all the places the movie went, or is it just literally at night? Adventure One, canal side views to London Zoo. Paddle pause, uh, uh, it might be. Surround yourself with hundreds of versions of Paddington. Yeah. So these are places that Paddington has gone. This is so cool. Mm. I yeah, love we didn't go to all this. Ways. I love this. I can't wait to spend some time looking at this. You all probably would like to know. Yeah, yeah, it's just in the words. Yeah, it's a big map and it has all kinds of things on it. That is so cool. Okay. There's two things. Oh. Please, this, uh, she must have, she must have donated um, money a um, to a charity because this is, uh, it says, please help sick children action medical research or maybe when if you buy that so much money that's what i'm saying yeah. i think she bought this and so much of the money went to uh uh help sick Some kids charity. that's what it looks like it's a little pen it's adorable and then this is a keychain uh -huh. yes a paddington bear keychain that's cool that is so right. cute Come on. platform nine and three quarters so she was there Yes. Okay. This is the sweatshirt she was talking about. Um, she said that um, her sister-in-law is a marine safety officer, and uh, for the city of Long Beach. And um, uh, somebody's on the dive team, um, anyway, in her family, and they had these uh, sweatshirts. And they had them left over. And the only size she said they had left was extra large. And I said, that's okay because Kevin wears an extra large. And Kevin loves the ones that... Uh, I wear them jackets. The ones that zip. I just wear them as jackets. Because... Uh, oh, this is cool. Long Beach Life. Um, because I like the ones that go over my head like this one. But he likes the zip up. The zip up. That is awesome. Thank you. Cool. I hope Very. you did go to Platform Nine and Three Quarters because uh, oh, I'm sure you, she did. You would enjoy the madness that was there. That place was a madhouse. It was so incredibly busy. I would, I, I would have liked to have gone on a less busy day just yeah. because you really didn't get to look around and everything. We could have looked around more, um, and there were a lot of people working there too. There were. Um, yeah, the magic was that you didn't get pickpocketed while you were in there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we ended up getting Christina. What did did we get? Beads. Bracelet. Yeah, we got her beads for her bracelet mm -hmm. in there. Um, Hopefully, gave them already, not Christina. No, I did. No, I, I gave them that one. We <laughs> gave, came home, and they fit on her Pandora bracelet. Yeah. So if you ever go to Platform Nine and Three Quarters and you see the beads. Uh, it's they, the spells, like four of the spells. Right. Or the Horcruxes. One of the two. I can't remember which one. Yeah, and they fit on her Pandora uh, bracelet perfectly. Uh, thank you. Thank you all so very much. Mm -hmm. I, I love I love everything. I still uh, got that buttery cookie flavor on That biscuit is delicious, and uh, that will be delicious with tea. Oh, yeah. Dipped yeah. in tea for a few seconds and then eat it. Or chocolate it'll, milk. It'll be one. Chocolate milk. 
<laughs> it'll be wonderful uh, thank you all and the bars uh, everything I just I just love everything well, I just realized Yvonne that that was completely stupid for me to open up that tin and not do a review of those biscuits so I uh, I just I wasn't thinking of course you sent me those to review I, I and of course we've already talked about them here but we will we're gonna do a video right now I'm actually heating water uh, so that we can have some tea and we're gonna do a video of the biscuits and uh, because they're new and I mean and I love the tin and so we will actually be trying them with some tea so I will do a video because a lot of times um, people will watch the video of whatever we're reviewing, but they don't watch my vlogs. They have no interest in, you know, what we're doing in our home. They just want to see the reviews of the food. So, a lot of people will probably view that review that won't even know that I opened them up in the vlog. So, just know that I'm going to do the uh, review and I'm sorry that I opened them during the I was just so excited. I was very very excited. I have not seen you for months and months and I thought some catastrophe had happened. You look so beautiful. Yes, you do. You look so beautiful. Did you miss me? Oh, yes. Yes, I miss you so much. Sad. <laughs> She's purring. I oh, am, yeah, sure. The legs straight out. You see her back legs straight out? <laughs> she looks so healthy. You look so healthy. Oh, did you see that? Was that a toy? Was that a toy? Hmm. I probably didn't show you well when we did the box opening that this tin, it's really cool because it has a, a different picture on the front and the back. And it has different London landmarks. And I won't be able to name them all because I don't know them all. But you have the London Eye and you have a plane and then you have the Shard. And I think this is Royal Albert Hall. And then Elizabeth Tower. And then you have a black cab and a soldier. Uh, and then you have, and these are like outside Buckingham Palace and they're all over the city. And then you have the Union Jack flag. And then this is the monument, I think in Trafalgar Square. And then that is the Gherkin. And that is St. Paul's, and that, of course, is the double-decker bus. And then on the other side, there's a Buckingham Palace, which I hadn't even noticed that. What's on the other side? Oh, cool. It has, uh, that's the Shakespeare Globe. See, I didn't even realize that was on there. That is the Shakespeare Globe Theater, and we were actually there. Okay, and then on this side, uh, you have... I think this one is called the Monument, and we didn't go up in there, but you can go up in there. I think that's what that one is. And then this is uh, uh, the Tower of London, and a bee feeder, and one of the royal carriages with the queen. It actually has the queen in there. That's, that's so cool. And then a telephone box, and then you have a Tower, tower Bridge. And then you have, um, I think this is called BT Tower. And I don't know what that building is. What is that building? I don't know what that building is. Somebody will have to tell me what that building is. But these, in the, in the London Eye, they actually have people, look, they have people standing there looking up. Like they are looking up at you. That is so cool. I hadn't looked closely at this, but I mean, this has a lot of detail on it. This is really, really cool. I love that. That is awesome. And I don't, I doubt there's anything on the bottom because they covered it up, but that, that's really cool. But today is, today's Saturday and it's Saturday morning. Ashley just uh, left. Ashley just went to work and <laughs> She literally goes to school and or works all week long. 
and it's not just going to school but it's going she actually goes to school but then she's working at an elementary school as part of her education too so she is constantly on the go she's very rarely at home and even tomorrow uh, she works again tomorrow and then it'll start all over again so she's just not home very much but it uh it's the beginning of the day i have no idea what we're going to do today but i know uh, we will have to go to the store but i know this video is going to be long so whatever we do this this uh coming week you'll see it in next week's vlog because i'm just going to end it right here i hope you all have a terrific week uh, i hope everyone's as excited about fall as i am because i love the the changing temperatures and everything and i love the leaves that are starting to fall off the trees and the changing colors all of it just really really excited about it so i will see you next week